think the Celtic performance tonight? I think the first half was kind of poor, um, but the second half was a big improvement. And uh, I think they moved the ball a lot quicker, and they uh, were two fantastic goals. Uh, but slow first half, uh, very poor. Uh, second half speeded up a wee bit, they took quick goals, and then after that was just plain sailing, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, in the first half it was a wee bit flat, a lot of sideward passing, but... Yeah, as you saw at the start of the second half, they obviously started really well and got themselves a couple of goals. I loved Ryan Christie's goal, it was a brilliant one. Bit flat, but three, po- but three points is all that matters. Two good goals. First first half, they were, they were got going. Set, second half started good, got the two goals. But then again, it just went flat after that. Uh, very complete for the back to the front, very fluent. I thought Scott Brown was absolutely outstanding tonight. I uh, gave Callum McGregor the money match, but I thought it was Scott Brown. As you touched on the goals there, we've seen good performances from Christian McGregor again tonight. Um, do you think Tom Rogic will struggle to get back in the team once he's once he's fit again? If I'm being honest, no, because I think he's an excellent player. Would you would you go back to McGregor deeper and then Christian uh, Rogic further? Absolutely, that's what I would do, and I hope he's playing on Sunday. Actually, I'd like to see him back in the team as quickly as possible because I think he's one of our better players, and. Uh, we need the better players all the time. We need the guys that have got the skill, so I would have on my team any day. Oh, definitely, as long as they play like that, you know what I mean? All he can do is keep chapping on the door and working hard and training and that, I suppose, and he might find his way back in if one of them got an injury later in the season. You just don't know these things. These things happen. Depends on what Brennan wants to do with Scott Brennan at the minute. What's the reports are Brennan has signed a new two-year deal, but don't know that, but we don't know that for sure. Doggett, Doggett's get back. I think he would. I think he would prepare Brown. It'd make him be a bit more attacking wise. No, I think it'll be a place for Tom Rogic when he's organised and fit again. Obviously, I need a rest for his tournament and travel and whatever. No, I'll be back. See Tom Rogic being another part of the team again, yeah. <coughs> who, do, who do you think he would come in for? Do you think maybe Brown would come out and McGregor go into the deeper role? Or? No, I think it'll be just a switch from the the young boy, Chrissy, getting a rest and Tom coming back in and then back and forward, I think. St Johnson sat deep in the first half. Um, it's obviously always awkward playing the uh, team three times in such a short period, uh, like 10 days. So do you expect to see some changes on uh, Sunday? Uh, I'm not really too sure. I mean, Brendan does change the team a wee bit at times, but I'm hoping that he keeps a settled team. I know there might be one or two changes, and I just said to you about Roger, so I hope Tom's back in the team again, because I think he's one of our better players. So I hope I, that he's one of the changes anyway. Maybe, maybe I. Uh, up front anyway, winger, and uh, midfield, Hank Brown. Well, I would like to think so, you know, because the quality's there even to freshen the team up. Uh, I'd like to see Way get more of a run it, but uh, I definitely the options are there if you need to pick them. I think the the away game will obviously be a bit tougher because they're at home, tighter stadium, smaller park. So Celtic will sh- probably struggle to find their stride as much as they do at home with the home crowd and that. Well, I thought that's why Sinclair came off to obviously keep them fresh for Sunday, but you can't expect too much changes that. Because the league's still not won yet. It's only six points. I think the way Celtic's playing just now, they're playing very composed, the football's very fluent, and I don't think it'll matter if we play them again in a, another week. I think we'll just find a formation. They played well tonight, they made it very difficult for Celtic tonight. Their defensive group and everything was really organised tonight, and the goalkeeper was exceptional with a couple of saves tonight as well. Mm, do you think the club have done enough this month in the transfer market? No. No, no, and I'm, I sit with all my friends there in the, in the ground and I go to the, see my brothers on a Sunday in the pub and we're all in the same mould, we all want to see players there. I agree with some of Celtic's policy, when they bring in youth to develop them and sell them on, fine. But we need a couple of guys that can come right into that team. And um, I'm, well, I don't know what's happening with the centre half, so I would be looking at that and left and right back as well because... We're needing players there. I know he is a giddy, he does a job for us, and Big Lustig's been a brilliant servant to us, but I think uh, we care him dearly, I don't know how long he's going to be. So I think there is strengthening required, and I'm, I'm, I don't think there will be any ch- any more new faces coming into the team. Uh, if this right back comes in, then yes. If not, then it's a failure. No, I don't. 
I think they should have been a right back purchased, a good one, somebody maybe it's well known, bring in. And I also think it should be another central defender as well purchased. But that's only me. So that's going to be a problem for us in the summer at centre half, doesn't it? With Benkovic and Boyata obviously looking like they're going to leave. I don't know. Maybe see Benkovic staying, I think. Who's your man of the match tonight? Man of the match, Gatib Scott Brown. Absolutely excellent. He was a uh, couple of balls he gave away. Uh, but I think his performance was outstanding. I think he, he gives, when he plays like the way Scott Brown can play, he gives. Uh, because I think he's the only one that can really dig in deep in the, in the middle of the park. A lot of the other boys are, are more skillful than Scott, but Scott digs in when it matters, and I think I thought he was the man of the match tonight. Uh, McGregor. Oh, I thought he was good. Casty, box it, box it, superb, scored a brown goal. I, I thought Scott Brown, that's who I thought. I thought he was exceptional tonight. Some of his, his reading of the game, his movement, his, his passing, everything was tremendous tonight. But obviously it was given to Callum McGregor. But my man in the match was Scott Brown, our captain. Scott Brown, 